On this episode of Innovation Ambassadors, we're showcasing the journey of Fox Sports Mexico, the leading multi-platform brand in Mexico that provides a unique sports entertainment experience to fans across the country. We'll explore their work with the AWS Innovation Team in Latin America on harnessing the power of the AWS Cloud and AWS Media Services to innovate and deliver enriching viewer experiences at unmatched speed and scale. Well, I am excited to welcome Israel Gomez, Senior Vice President of Media Production, Technology, and Operations at Fox Sports Mexico. Mucho gusto, Israel. Thank you so much for joining us. Hola, Sara. Thank you. Thanks for having me here. And from AWS, we have Elisa Escalante, Senior Innovation Specialist for LATAM. Elisa, thanks for being with us. Of course. Glad to join. And also from AWS, we have Arturo Velasco, Senior Solutions Architect. Arturo, thank you also for joining us. Thank you so much, Sara. So Israel, for our international audience, can you tell us a little bit about Fox Sports Mexico? Fox Sports Mexico, it's part of Lauman Group since 2021, um, November 2021. Um, so we are a 100% Mexican group of, of media and technology. Uh, and we took over Fox Sports operation after it was uh, became uh, after it became independent from the Walt Disney Company in 2021. Wonderful. And serving the entire Mexican listenership. Yes. Across a range of sports and other. Yes, we are uh, one of the networks that have more live content. We do over 7,000 live sporting events per year. Uh, we have four TV channels. Um, we have NFL. We're the group of, of um, channels with more NFL games per week. We do 40% of the Mexican Premier Male Soccer League. We do 60% of the Female League. We do MLB. We do UFC, WWE, Formula One, boxing, other mixed martial arts, Mexican baseball, just to name a few. Fantastic. Exciting. You have a fun job, don't you? Oh, yes. Yes. Uh, <laughs> now sports are um, seven days a week uh, content. Uh, it's Happy. no longer a weekend hobby like used to be many years ago. Right, right. And tell us a little bit about this vision you had for a platform as a service and how you came to work with AWS. When we took over, we identified a number of challenges uh, that were required to, to, to start thinking about um, by becoming independent. One of those challenges that was also key for our future business strategy was to develop a solution to better serve our direct-to-consumer customers. Um, our, our main line of business still nowadays, it's the traditional cable industry, but we know that there are younger generations who are um, not willing to go to a store hire a service, wait a couple of weeks for an antenna or a set-top box to be uh, installed, and they want things immediately, right away, right? Um, we know that more and more people, it's consuming content on desktop, on mobile phones, and, and no only on a traditional TV set. So that's why we, we decided to go for a, for a direct-to-consumer product. Um, this direct-to-consumer product um, needed to be equivalent to the content quality and production quality that we offer by having premium events like NFL, MLB, Formula One, UFC. Um, you can imagine the level of service, the level of content, the, the experience our customers require from Fox. Uh, and, and certainly to achieve that in a short period of time and as a new business model, um, it made sense to go as a, as a platform. Um, we, we knew that we didn't have the scale to, to build and maintain uh, a platform by our own. So we, we started a project um, when we identified different um, vendors that provided 
parts of the solution. Uh, and that's how we, everything started. Fantastic. And, and how did you come to work, uh, with and, and learn about our innovation specialists, uh, with Elisa and our innovation programs? During the pandemic, uh, uh, I was invited to take part in, in a number of, of, let's say, training sessions, conversations, innovation chats, uh, that Elisa, uh, um, was hosting, uh, during, during the pandemic. And, and then I, I start to get excited about, um, all the alternatives that, that the cloud and these kind of innovation processes that, that are now, uh, viable with technology. Um, and, and we learn from, uh, the thinking backwards, uh, the, the AWS philosophy on fail quick solve things quicker. So I already had that information in me. Um, our, our group comes from technology, comes from providing services for, for customers in this industry and, and not only in Mexico, but also in, in Latin America. So we were familiar with different project management processes. Um, and, and when we identified this new challenge, we try to put in place everything we learned in the past, try to leverage all those 20 something years of experience working in this industry and being fueled and pumped with the AWS innovation, uh, um, that, that we learned thanks to Elisa and, and the multiple, uh, um, AWS people, uh, that we had the opportunity to, to learn from, uh, make things more exciting. Mm. Absolutely. So, Elisa, starting with these workshops that you were helping run and, and really ha with multiple different customers and then sharing that innovation approach that Amazon has. And then you also did some deeper engagements with uh, Fox Sports. Isn't that right? Yes. We started with a program called Digital Leaders in Mexico. Um, we realized that what we, that when the pandemic hit, all of the executives were dealing with a lot of changes and technology was not the only challenge that they had. They, they really needed a change of mindset, different tools to support them in, in that tough time for all of us. So we created this program to help them with those tools, with that change of mindset, with that strategy that we had as an innovation company, uh, from the start. And the best practices that we could share with them. And Israel was the first one registering <laughs> in our first digital leader. Then the program evolved into different versions because we had a lot of interest from, from a lot of companies and executives. So we did digital leaders transform and then digital leaders agile. Then we did a one for emerging technologies, AI, ML, data and analytics. And in all of them, Israel was. They're um, up front and centered. He was an amazing student. And from there, every time we did a new program, uh, executive program around innovation, he was our first call. Uh, then we started piloting when we were able to go back to in-person events. We piloted this innovation day where we could do working backwards with uh, many customers at a time. And he was one of our first call to, to help us shape that, that new program. We started working on March 2022, if I'm right, Israel, I think. Yes. Last year. Yep. Yeah. And um, from there, uh, they created this uh, amazing solution and we start, started uh, supporting their um, evolution, development, implementation with uh, Mauricio as well that supports the account um, with a great uh, communication and trust between the two companies to work together. Absolutely. And as I understand it, Israel... You had sort of two core areas that came out of that. The website, is that right? And the direct-to-consumer product in terms of ideas? Mm. Part of our group, we also own a business and finance newspaper in Mexico called El Financiero. Um, and we made um, the switch to the ARC platform, to ARC XP, uh, um, the, this uh, technology developed inside the, the, the Washington Post. And we were actually the first customers in Mexico to, to start working on that platform. And, and the results were, were amazing. Um, so when we, when we took over Fox, uh, it was a no brainer for us to say, Hey, 
we already have skilled people, we already have experience. Let's go the same direction and and let's uh, uh, leverage everything we learned during the pandemic. So so we did that project that that was let's say a quick win was a, a low hanging fruit to to call it mm-hmm. somehow mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. and and that was the easiest of those projects because we already had experience and and recent experience uh, on the on the direct to consumer um we we knew uh as being a subscriber for different platforms what we liked and we didn't like uh th- there was a legacy product uh, uh that we uh inherited when when the transition but but it was not something we felt comfortable offering our our customers so um we we wrote some some ideas on this on this event elisa was mentioning um we start prototyping our customer um you know uh, uh creating the press release um, identifying the pain points, identifying uh, their behavior. If it's uh, a customer that it's on the move, or it's someone uh, um, willing to to innovate, or if it was someone more traditional, less tech friendly. So with all of that, um, and and with our own experience and and the team we put together to face this project. Uh, it's been always uh, a collaborative way of, of working that we have in our group. Um, so we we wrote an RFP. We start looking um, in the market for for different options, and it was uh, a I don't know maybe six months project. Uh, well, we were re- um, researching. Um, it, it was narrowing all the way to to let's say a runner ups. Uh, where we went to a proof of concept and then we, we chose the platform. Um, the platform, um, it's, it's running on AWS infrastructure. It's provided by, uh, by a company called SeaChange, uh, who creates all the back office, all the, all the UX management and all the native apps for all the devices where where we offer our content. We're on browsers, on mobile phones, tablets, sure. uh, streaming devices, everywhere you you would think, right? L- like big screen TVs as well. Um, so so th- they were providing that part of the of the solution. Then we we came to Mauricio to Arturo um, uh, uh, to talk about uh, content distribution, the CDN, and all the video part. Uh, a big, a big part of the solution is to have, uh, the best video and audio quality, um, regardless the device you have and, and the connectivity. So we know that AWS with their, with their video products, with Elemental product line was, was very good. And also CloudFront to, to share, uh, the content and the made the content available for our customers. And that was just the start, right? Right now we're doing more and we will talk about it later. Absolutely. So Elisa, starting from that big vision, focusing on a particular benefit to the customers, identifying those customers, focusing on that benefit, and really honing in on how we can create something that would be a value for them, that part and parcel of the innovation process here at Amazon. is that? Yeah, well, it was a time for everyone to experiment, not only the customers, but ourselves as well. So we tried different things. We got feedback from, from them to understand what they needed, how we can support them. So it was, um, very challenging for us, but excited as well. We're from a culture that we like to, to spice things up. So we were having a lot of fun together, right? Is that? <laughs> oh, yes. It nice. was a, a really something that, that, that was perfect timing for us, right? Mm. Uh, uh, because when, when the digital leaders, uh, uh, program started, um, we were not a hundred percent sure that, that Fox Sports was coming to our group. So, mm. so it was perfect time. A lot of ambiguity, a lot of change that you're managing through and, and at the same time trying to be forward looking, customer centric, looking after your listenership, uh, and viewership rather. Uh, Arturo, let's bring you in. Um, we heard a lot about the requirements and the vision and the type of customers who uh, were trying to serve 
Talk to us a little bit about, and, and Israel mentioned Elemental and CloudFront and some of the media services that we have. Talk to us a little bit about the architecture and some of the decisions that were made. Yeah, we started the conversation with Israel since the beginning of the project. I mean, uh, Maurice was a very key point and key part of that uh, with the, some proof of concepts uh, answering the RFP that at some moment the, uh, Israel gave us. And we decide to use the media services because, uh, well, some of the drivers are still the innovations, the innovations on quality, innovations on audio, innovations on distribution. So the key part of this architecture is the, uh, let's say, the, 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 the serverless uh, component. This is component is very important because uh, it allows to Israel and, and his team to manage, to be, let's say, focused on the business models, not on the management of the platform, you know. And this platform, it's, uh, let's say, uh, it's, it's scalable also. So the scalability is very important for them because at some point they have uh, more events, more sports events, or in some seasons they have more demands of those events. So the architecture and the solution scales, uh, let's say, uh, almost automatically. And so, Israel, that's so important, right? Yes, because your yeah. viewership, your viewership can change dramatically. I'm based on what event you're you're streaming. Yeah, this uh, world of sports, it's about life. Um, yes, yes, yes. Sports yes. are are still one of the few types of content that people uh, watches live. So we know that that there will be thousands of people joining minutes or seconds before and and mm -hmm. not only joining for for to watch content but they will be willing to subscribe to download the app configure it uh, we know that people forget their passwords they 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 mm -hmm. they have issues <laughs> with internet connection they yeah. changed a streaming device or they bought a new tv set and and this happens minutes before your match your match your race your fighting yeah starts. Yeah. So this needs yeah. to be uh, proven to, mm. to support all that, that, that stress that, like mm. Arturo said, changes uh, uh, from content to content from day to day. Yes. And Arturo, that live, the nat that live nature of what you are um, providing, so important in the consideration of what architectural choices you're making, right? Yeah, many, many things to consider. Many de devices are uh, emerging, let's say, new technologies. So that's a big challenge for, for all the customers, uh, for direct-to-consumer customers, right? Because uh, every single year are launching new devices, new protocols. So the customer needs to be ready to, to support those uh, new devices. Right. So Talk to us about some of the technology uh, that came in, some of the services that are fundamental to how uh, the team built this out. We are using uh, several media services, almost all, because uh, if, 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 let's say, if, if this solution is pure live streaming, we have also a VOD part. Uh, uh, Fox Sports is using this part for advertising. They have this uh, sea change solution also for advertising. So we are using Media Connect, Media Live, Media Package, and Media ta Media Tailor, and as well as CloudFront. Okay, so uh, they have all the media services, and even well, uh, Israel. I'm sure that we'll be talking about this later, but they are innovating as well in the experience side. Let's say what is the what are they are adding value for the end users? Right, right. So Israel. Oftentimes in this podcast, we talk about the fact that experimentation, and you you hit on this in the beginning about failing fast, about experimentation also being a, the twin of failure sometimes, right? right. Of learning Evil from. Twin. That's right. <laughs> but taking that those learnings and applying them, was there something in this experience that you had that was unexpected or a challenge that you faced? that didn't quite go as we thought and that we had to work through? Yes. One was that that maybe we were too conservative to start. Uh, uh, we thought that 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 the, the start will be slower, uh, but it was not, right? 
So, so after, after a few days uh, uh, that we launched, we were seeing a, a, a larger demand uh, uh, for, for video services, uh, for people trying to connect. So, so we had to say, hey, let, let's, let's scale now. So uh, uh, maybe we were too conservative with enough threshold to, to support this, this higher demand. Um, mm. so, so that's always I a happy problem, that, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, that's a good problem. It's too. a happy problem. And, and we said, we, we should be bolder, let's say, mm. uh, um, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm, trust mm -hmm. more in, in our project, trust more in, in the offering that people liked it and, and people it's, it's using it heavily. Uh, so, so that was one. Um, the other one, it's that maybe our, our, our MVP, right? Our, our version one for lunch. Maybe, uh, uh, we were also conservative. We said, okay, let's start with this and then we will add this a few months later and then we will add this. And, and the answer is no. Uh, um, you have to, to identify all the different things you want to add. Um, but the priority, the customer will give it to you, right? So we were thinking, well, this is the direction we think things will go. Uh, and it was not 100% accurate, right? Mm -hmm. So, so mm -hmm. we were trying to, to set a, a path. Uh, and, and we had to adapt it quickly because the customer was prioritizing what, what they wanted. So, so I would say those were not really hard problems they were happy problems uh but again uh if we should go through a project like this again uh i i think we would think uh in a richer mvp uh, uh a a stronger infrastructure larger infrastructure um because i think it's better to be a little over th that certainly under right so those were like like our two findings, and and, and those right. happened quick, yeah. right? Yeah. Th those yeah. happened at the beginning. Absolutely. So we said, okay, uh, um, let's not wait for another event to have this this bottleneck. No, no, no. Let, let's grow. Let's go big now. Mm hmm. And Elisa, I, I feel like there's always that balance, right, between the idea of getting something out there in the hand of and in the hands of customers or in the eyes of customers in your case, right? Eyes and ears of customers, and then iterating on what you have uh, and learning and doing that fast follow in terms of enriching the experience. That's how we operate in Amazon. That's how we uh, share it with our customers. They each adapt what works best for them. So um, many times customers worry about doing something very little, investing a lot of time and doing something little, but we, we're sure that if we build with the customer, we can uh, grow and go into the direction where the customer wants. So all of our impact will be much higher and much richer with them along the way than working tons of months and years in something that we will deploy suddenly um, to have those learnings that Israel is, is talking about. In Arturo, there's more on the horizon, right? There's more invention. There's more innovation to come israel maybe you can share a little bit about what's next yes for sure remember that that we come from technology uh, um so we feel confident with technology uh, um so uh part of of the changes uh in the in the mindset like like elisa was mentioning before was to make make People, no matter what their role is, if they're a producer, if they're an editor, if they are a camera guy, uh, whenever they have a need, uh, think on technology, right? So we're always thinking outside of the box and, and saying, okay, what can we do to, to make our lives easier? And, and just to, just to mention a couple of things, um, we, we were receiving, um, content already produced in, in English in, or in other languages. And the usual way was to have someone listening, taking notes, 
doing a, a manual translation, then going to uh, to a uh, uh, to a word or or, or a text uh, uh, processor, um, make a script, go to the editing room, type everything manually, and a couple of days after, you can put a thirty minutes piece uh, on air. So when we started getting these these needs, I said, I'm sure my my AWS friends can help me. So immediately I, I called Arturo, I called Mauricio and told them, Hey guys, I have this challenge now. What can we do? And, and, and luckily they said, Oh yeah, yeah, th- th- there are some things. Uh, um, my, my team, it's, let's say used to this pop up projects or, or new ideas or new challenges. So they are always, uh, um, willing to, to innovate as well. So, so we started doing tests, uh, um, one day and, and maybe two days after we were already putting content, um, on air, uh, using AI tools to do translation and subtitling, uh, in a, in a very cost effective, uh, not only on the, on the budget side, but also on, on how much time do you spend? To, to put a piece of content on there. So, so that's one of the things we are, we are doing. We made a POC recently to add, uh, high dynamic range content in our direct to consumer platform where we are not constrained to the bandwidth that the cable company gives us. So we can go for higher resolutions, um, better, uh, picture quality, better audio formats more, let's say, immersive audio capabilities um, that, that we can launch, that we can put on air um, without uh, waiting for the cable industry to follow up or adopt these trends. So that's something we're working right now. We are a few weeks away, right, Arturo? Uh, a few weeks away <laughs> being that's able... Right, that's no, right. pressure. To, uh, no, <laughs> no pressure. No pressure. No uh, pressure. A little bit. But, but that's... One of the things we are always trying to do, people, it's paying for this content. They are watching the Super Bowl. They want to have the best experience. So how can we deliver a better service, a better product, right? So, so we are, uh, let, let's say we, we like to adapt new technology. Uh, uh, we like to adopt new, new trends. Uh, um, and, and that's why we are always, um, spending time just talking uh, um, because we may have a, a, a narrow point of view from, from our desk. Uh, but I mean, Arturo and, and all the, the, the technical team in AWS have multiple experiences around the globe that can really be very, very helpful for us. So we're always keen to, to listen, um, to learn. Uh, uh, you need to be humble because this thing changes so much. Uh, that you can never feel confident. You can never feel, okay, uh, I don't need nothing else, right? So there's always someone who will keep innovating and, and that's who we want to be. Absolutely. Well, thank you all for being here today and sharing your journey with us. And i wondering just, uh, Arturo, we'll start with you. What would you share with our listeners? What was your key learning out of this experience? One of the key drivers for us as technology people is innovation. Innovation is uh, one of the, of the main things when we talk about the technology, and we are very, very concerned of that. So uh, thanks to our customers who are influencing those innovations in every service that we, we can uh, offer to, to the audience. Absolutely. Elisa, how about you? What was some of your uh, takeaways or key reflections? Because of the nature of uh, what I do in AWS, uh, I share the best practices of Amazon. But honestly, I, most of the time I learn more about our own customers, you know, having different perspectives, uh, getting to know their challenges. So I think that's what I like the most. Uh, it's been very um Amazing doing that with Fox Sports and with Israel in this journey. So uh, looking forward of what's coming next. I love that idea of the open mindset. It's really a, it's a two-way conversation, isn't always. it always? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. We can always learn from everyone. 
Uh, Israel, final words for you, anything, reflections you would share uh, or guidance for our listeners? Yes, well, uh, uh, there are many, um, but I would say that that innovation needs to be uh, adapted all across the, the, the company, all across uh, all the different teams. Um, it, it's, it doesn't work if it's just the technology team thinking outside of the box. Uh, I, I would say that, that the upper management really needs to to embrace this and encourage their people to to think outside of the box. Um, in our case, um, we we start innovating with a blank piece of paper, a, a whiteboard, uh, and that was very well spent time. Um, we we tried to to develop these ideas. We polished them. Then we said, okay, why don't we go? in a completely opposite direction. And when we had something that made us feel comfortable, that's when we started really to talk with, with technology people. Um, so, so that to give, to give yourself that time to think, uh, I think it's, it's very well spent. And then, uh, don't be afraid of failure. Um, you need to put something on there. Uh, um, you need to develop something. Um, but, but do it even if you're not 100% sure that it will work. Try it and then react on that. Um, make, make corrections, make changes, go opposite ways. There's always, uh, takeaways from failure and, and always keep innovating. Uh, um, don't, don't feel comfortable, uh, to the point where you say, okay, I don't need to do nothing else. No, I'm sure there will be some, somebody else thinking outside of the box. And, and, and they will provide a better solution, uh, than you in, in, in a short period of time if you stay, let's say, calm. Oh, very well said. We have this saying at Amazon, um, clear on the vision, flexible on the details, right? That iterative nature of what you're talking about and getting feedback from our customers, right? Wonderful. Uh, Israel, Elisa and Arturo, thank you so much for being here with us today and sharing your journey. Thanks you know, for having thank us. Thank you. Muchas gracias. I should say. <laughs> gracias, Sara. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for for thinking of us yeah. for this for this podcast, and it, it's been an amazing journey, and and it will continue. This is just version one. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Looking forward to the future. I'd like to thank our listeners for coming on today's journey with us. Look for future episodes of our podcast on your favorite podcast platform. Share your ideas for future episodes or comments on this one via the email in the description. Thank you.